So, last class I have discussed that how we can determine the H u value for fixed headed pile in cohesionless soil and I have discussed two cases uh, short pile and the intermediate piles and this is the short pile. So, these are the two equations by which we can determine the H u and the maximum uh, moment and in this case maximum moment will be at the surface and this is the condition by which we can determine what is the uh, maximum lateral load capacity of the pile and we can determine the M x also uh, which will act at a depth of f uh, and then uh, as we know that that the f equation we can determine because f expression is already uh, given. So, what is the f expression? f expression was given in uh, previous classes. So, that f expression is uh, which is for free headed pile part that f expression is given and f is equal to 0.82 root over h u by d k p gamma or gamma dash. Okay. So, how, how we are getting that? Because f expression we are getting by equating this equation, because it is we are taking uh, or we are taking this value here, because that we did for the free headed pile. So, this is nothing but 3 gamma dash d k p into f. Okay. So, that force will be equal to h u. So, that h u is equal to half into 3 gamma dash d k p f into f. So, here we can write that f is nothing but 0.82 root over h u gamma dash d k p or this is the value. So, by using these equation I can determine because once I get the uh, uh, h u by equation 2, then I can put this h u in this equation 3, I will get the f. Now, once I know the f, now with respect to this f point, I can calculate the m max. What is m max? And then I will check whether it is less than m y or not. If it is less than m y, then fine intermediate pile, otherwise it is a long pile. So, now I will go to the long pile case. So, for the long pile, fixed headed long pile case, that this is the ground surface. Okay. And uh, this is the fixity of the pile and this is the pile which is the long pile and in case of long pile they will be yielding at a point. Okay. And this is the uh, say pile cap, this is L, and this distance is where the yielding occurs is at a distance of F, and then the soil reaction. So, again, this will be. something like that. Okay. And this is the value which is 3 gamma dash d k p into f, because this is f and this value is basically at f, where the maximum bending moment also will occur at f and now there will be a moment yield moment at the surface as well as at the point f. So, this is the maximum yield moment. So, I should write uh, 
this is the point yes fine so this is the bending moment diagram okay so this will be MOI because it is a long pile and this is also M max which is equal to M y and this is acting at a depth of f. So, this is the deflection, this is the soil reaction and this is the bending moment. Okay? this is max. So, this is bending moment, this is the deflection and this is soil reaction. Okay. <clears throat> so, these are the different diagrams. So, here also I have drawn the all the cases. So, now, so for the fixed set case, so for the fixed set case what are the what are the values? So, uh, I should write that uh, I have to calculate the H u, H u and there will be a yield moment m y, okay? because there will be a yield moment m y in this uh, fixed set case. And then uh, now for the fixed set case M x at the point f definitely will be equal to M y. Okay. Now, we are taking the moment um, M y at a distance of f from the surface. So, taking moment at a distance f from the surface. So, h u is now it is at a distance of f and that point the m this m is nothing but m y. So, m y at that point will be equal to h u into f. Okay. Then the negative contribution and again we assume that up to f point this is the uh, linear portion and that point is uh, uh, total force will be half into 3 gamma dash d k p f into f and we are taking from this point f. So, this is the if I take consider it is a lin, uh, triangle above the f point above the f point. So, then this will be f by 3 then there are a the, um, moment m y is acting at the surface. So, minus m y. So, this is the uh, uh, with respect to f point. So, if this is the uh, moment with respect to f point and that is also ill moment. So, we can write that this will be 2 m y will be equal to f u h u into f minus. So, this is nothing but f. So, that I have already discussed that um, this is nothing but f uh, h u. This portion is nothing but h u. So, this is also uh, 3 by 2 gamma dash d k p f square. This is also 3 by 2 gamma dash d k p f square. This is equal to h u. So, this will be h u into f divided by 3. Okay. So, this will be 2 third h u f. So, I can write that 2 third h u f will be equal to 2 m y or I can write h u will be equal to 3 m y divided by f and where m y is again known.
Okay. So, so now how I will get the f value? Again, f value is equal to the same expression because here also we assume this is the uh, linear above the f point. So, all reaction is linear. So, again f will be equal to 0.82 root over h u d k p gamma dash. So, this equation 1 will give us the h u equation 2 also give us the f value. So, we have two unknowns f is one unknown h u is another unknown and we have two equations. So, we will solve and we will get the h u and the maximum moment is now the yield moment. So, that is known. So, this way we can determine the h u and the position of maximum uh, moment for long pile and so that means here also uh, for the I have derived for questionless soil uh, I have discussed the equations for the five cases what are the possible equations. So, either you can use those equation and based on those equations again the charts are um, given. So, you can use these charts also. So, that thing for the um, fixed added pile this is the dotted line farm added uh, uh, free added pile farm lines are there L by D again less than equal to 20 then I will get H u k p d cube gamma dash. Okay. So, this is H u is divided by k p d cube gamma dash. Here also we should know, know um, the k d value k d uh, this is not the k d this is the k p. Okay. So, k p d to the power 4. So, here also I will get h u k p d cube gamma dash and this is the uh, this dotted line is the fixed added pile and farm added pile this is the farm line. So, this this is 0 is this one. So, 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 for free pile and fixed added pile this is dotted line. So, either you can use this chart or the equations. So, this way we can <coughs> determine the ultimate load carrying uh, lateral load carrying capacity of piles and the moments and the positions of the maximum moment by using Brom's approach. Then I will discuss another approach which is called the simplified approach. So, in this simplified approach which is uh, very uh, I mean obviously, it is simplified means is very simple. What is that approach and that is for free headed pile. So, that simplified approach suppose this is a free headed pile, this pile is subjected to a lateral road H u with a eccentricity e. So, there will be a moment also which is m u which is nothing but H u into e. So, it is assumed that this simplify approach then, 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 then this pile will definitely rotate because it is a free headed pile. So, it will rotate like this. So, upper portion there will be a passive resistance, a lower portion there will be a passive resistance. So, that means, here the uh, distribution is something like that. So, is this point there will be a change of the distribution. So, this is the distribution and for that this is the distribution. So, only this distribution is assumed and that is it. So, based on that we will calculate what would be the ultimate load carrying capacity of the pile. How we will calculate by this distribution? I am showing one particular case that H u will be equal to the this net reaction. Okay. So, that net reaction suppose this is the Z r where the Z r is the point of rotation, where the soil distribution changes from this passive resistance in the upper portion or the within the JDR portion, it is acting from right to left and below it is acting from left to right. This is the uh, this passive resistance. So, or we can write that that this is equal to 0 to ZR integration P u 
d d z and then minus because this is in the opposite direction z it is z r to l p u d z a, uh, d z. Okay. And similarly, I can write that m u maximum moment into E that is equal to because now moment we are taking in the opposite sign. So, it will be minus or I can take this is first. So, z r l this will be p u d z d z minus 0 to z r p u d z d z. Okay. Now, what is p u? p u is the soil pressure and it varies from p 0 to some value. So, that means, here at p u is the soil pressure at any depth. So, p u is equal to p 0 at z equal to 0 and p u is equal to p l at z equal to l. So, this is basically at any point this is p u which is soil pressure and then with that this unit is kilo Newton per meter square and if I multiply with d it will be kilo Newton per meter that we are doing for all the cases. Now, this P u distribution as I have discussed already that for cohesive soil, this P u is equal to P l that means uniform or you can write P 0 also that means it is uniform. Okay. But for cohesionless soil, this is not uniform, this is varying linearly. This assume it is varying linearly from P 0 to P L. Okay. So, P u varies linearly from P 0 to P L. So, P 0 means at z equal to 0 and this is z equal to L. So, it is varying, P u is varying linearly with P L. And so, that means, it is if P 0 is equal to 0, then the variation will be something like this. Okay. This is P L. So, in such case P U will be the average pressure, because this is 0. Now, P U will be equal to half P L. So, in that case, if this is z equal to 0, that is z equal to l. So, now for, for, for uh, uniform case, so that means for uniform case, uniform case, the distribution of the pressure will be something like this. This is the point of rotation. distribution will be like this, which is not in scale definitely. So, this will be the distribution for uniform case. And this is uh, always P u, this is also P u. Okay. So, so, so for this Oh, uh, I should write that for uniform case, how we can calculate the H u expression. So, we can calculate the H u will be equal to that this is z r. Okay. So, this will be your P u and you are multiply d into z r, okay. then minus P u into d into L minus Z R. So, that is the total uh, 
net reaction and that is equal to H e u. So, that means, we have L minus Z r. So, finally, I will get a expression in terms of H u divided by P u d L. So, that is equal to 2 Z r by L minus 1. So, this way if I know the Z r and if I uh, if I know the Z r the point of rotation, then I can calculate the H u. Now, to know the point of rotation Z r, we have to take the moment. Okay? So, in this way, we can do it for uniform uh, distribution case, we can do it for the linear case also. So, for the linear case, the uh, distribution uh, will be uh, okay. So, directly uh, I have already given the linear case distribution. So, that will also shift from this side to that side. So, that means, for the linear case, so distribution will be, so it will go something like this, then it will be like something like that. Okay. So, that means, here this is Z r and this is P L, this is P Z, And this is the soil reaction. So, so for this particular case, so for this particular case, we can we can get the um, net reaction, and that will give me the H u. And for determine the Z r, we have to take the moment. So, and that uh, equations are given. So, based on those equations. I am just uh, discuss about the concept that how this simplify approach is uh, used and, and then I have not given the equation because I have discussed the concept. So, based on that concept equations are der de uh, derived and then based on those equations these charts are developed. Okay. So, we can use this chart uh, and then we can get the H u this is P u P u bar is basically the average. Okay. Now, for cohesive soil, P u bar which is uniform and that value is given 9 C u d that is for cohesive soil, okay, which is uniform. And for cohesionless soil, P u is nothing but half into P l as I mentioned that if your P 0 is equal to 0 and P l is equal to that 3 of that sigma v dash k p because that is assumed for the for the uh, cohesionless soil. And similarly, I can write that sigma v dash for L that will be gamma dash into L okay, and K p will be equal to 1 plus sin phi 1 minus sin phi. So, this is linear. So, you will get this value. So, once I will get this value, I will get the, the, the H u value because I have to calculate P u bar this is small p, this is also small p, this is also small p. So, uniform uh, p u distribution, this is p u distribution, this curve is for uniform, this curve is for linear. So, distribution 0 at the surface, 2 at the tip. So, that means, the distribution is something like this. So, that means, this is p l at z equal to l and this is 0 at z equal to 0. So, this is the distribution. So, P u bar will be half in half P l by uh, uh, half uh, half into P l. So, P l I will get by using these equation and then I will and then once I get the E by L value, then for different uh, cases whether uniform or the linear, I will get H u P u d L d I know, l I know, p u I will get from these equations. So, I will get the h u which is simple. So, let us see 
which uh, uh, approach is giving a better result or the or the or the result which we can use for our design so this is actually h u so the problem that example problem that i have chosen that h steel pile it's a h section steel pile uh, of following properties and the length of 20 meter is embedded in a granular soil two cases that means this h section pile is embedded in a granular soil and in a clay soil and yield stress of the pile is 340 mega newton f square that is the yield stress so for the every material for the every h section pile this yield stress is given okay so this yield stress is known Water table is 2 meter below the ground surface, unit weight of the soil above and below water table is 18 kilo Newton per meter cube and 20 kilo Newton per meter cube. So, for the case A, friction angle is 40 degree and cohesion is 0, case B, friction angle is 0, cohesion is 100 kPa, eccentricity is 0, determine the H u. Okay. So, for this uh, H section, the section which is given. So, I am giving the, the details of that section. So, it is a steel pile with H section yes this is the H section and this is the y y axis. and this is the x x axis. Okay. Now, there are different terminology. So, this is the d 1 which is the depth of this section and this is the d 2 which is the width of this section. So, this d 1 and d 2 these values are available depending upon which section you are using. Okay. So, for this particular section D 1 value is equal to 246 millimeter and D 2 value is equal to 256 millimeter. Flange width is also given. So, this is the E width. So, that is 10.6 millimeter. This width is also given. So, 10.6 millimeter. So, all the values are given. Uh, for a particular section. Now, the this moment of inertia of this section for the for the x x axis that is also given 87.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter to the power 4. So, this is also given. So, all the values that I have written are all given. Okay. Now, the size of this section the your equivalent size of this section that is also given and that is 250 millimeter. Now, weight is also given and weight is 0 0.608 kilo Newton per meter. Okay, so, these all values are given. Now, we have to determine the ultimate or H u ultimate lateral load that spile can take. So, these this is a section and these are the details of this section and in the question the soil properties are given. So, this side all the values are given. Now, we have to calculate the the values that we we are asked to determine. So, that is H u. Now, before I uh, calculate the H u, so we should know what is the yield moment because that uh, uh, if it is a uh, long pile or short pile based on that you have to use the yield moment. So, where the uh, uh, your if the size is given 250 millimeter. So, that means diameter you will take as a 250 millimeter because size means is equivalent width or the diameter that we are taking the 250 and L is given here 20 meter uh, sorry 20 meter. So, L by D is more than 20 even even it is how much 20 divided by 0 0.25. So, 
So, this will be around 80, this is 4, so 80, definitely it will be a long pipe, okay, less than or equal to 20 and if it is uh, close to 20 or 30 or something, then also we can consider intermediate pile, but this is 80 means definitely it will be a, will be a long pile. So, this is a long pile. Okay. So, we have to calculate the yield moment, because as I mentioned in during my derivation also, the long pile primarily the uh, ultimate load carrying capacity dip, depends on the yield moment of the pile. So, that yield moment we have to pile, determine. So, we have written all the known values. So, next class I will, I will uh, from these known values, I will determine the yield moment, because it is a long pile. And based on that yield moment, I will determine what will be the value of H u for different cases, granular soil as well as the clay soil and I will use both the approaches, Brom's theory as well as the simplified approach. Thank you.